who is an actuarial consultant. They are basically astrologers who predict the future of money. But there is science involved. I also didn't know what an actuary was and I only got to know it well after I had finished my MBA from the Kellogg School of Management. Let's understand this better from Tushar, who is a Kellogg MBA graduate and has been an actuary for many, many years. So in today's episode of Know Your Career, we are going to try and understand what exactly is actuary, how you become one, how it is related to the world of MBA and how much money you can make as an actuarial consultant. We are back with a new series on our channel known as KYC Know Your Career. In this series, we break down different career paths for you so that you can take better decisions for yourself and for your career. So let's dive in. So what do actuaries do? So actuaries do a lot of different things, but the prime job of an actuary is to assess risk and advise clients on buying products in the insurance space, whether it is life insurance, health insurance, car insurance, and home insurance. A little known fact is that actuaries are also responsible for figuring out how much money do we have in our pension fund account so that when we retire, the government is able to provide us adequate pension. And because it is an assessment of risk and liability in the future, it requires a huge amount of understanding and complex calculations such as mathematics, economics, accounting, they all come together and you need to know all of these things so that you are able to assess the risk properly. But uh, actuaries are being used everywhere. Elon Musk recently had an actuary at Tesla and he wanted to understand how to make the car such that uh, whenever there is an accident, the parts that are most frequently impacted can be made into low cost parts. Mm -hmm. For example, say the bumper of a car, if we actually tell you that the bumper of a car is one of the most damaged items in an accident, then can we make the bumper of a car such that when you replace it, it costs you less money. Okay, so what are some of the key responsibilities of an actual consultant? An actual consultant takes up risk assessment, they evaluate the likelihood and financial impact of uncertain future events, except for COVID that I'm sure nobody assessed. Number two is data analysis, collecting and analyzing data related to mortality, accident rates, retirement, and other factors that can influence financial outcomes. Number three is modeling, developing mathematical methods to predict future events and financial risks. Number four is consulting, advising companies on how to mitigate risk, design insurance products, and manage financial plans effectively. The next is compliance, ensuring that companies comply with regulatory requirements and maintain sufficient reserves to cover potential losses. You start as an associate actually, go as an uh, AVP actually, then become a vice president of actually, perhaps you might become the chief actually. Now the chief actually is a very, very important position. The government of India requires every chief actually to be registered with them, with the IRDA. And they are the people who are allowed to sign on the balance sheet of large companies like uh, Max or uh, Bajaj Alliance and so on. They need to give, give in writing to the worldwide, to the board saying that they've checked the numbers and all the numbers are right. And that's one career path that you can have. After completing the actuarial degree, after, say after two, three years after doing that, you feel, no, I don't want to be an actuary. I want to be a businessman. I want to do something more in business. That is the time when you want to pursue an MBA because that will open up a new set of opportunities for you. And where your actuarial skill will be very helpful and useful is in evaluating whether a business should enter a new market, should not enter a new market. So business plus risk management both comes together and makes you a very, very potent force. Okay, how can you become an actual consultant in India? Becoming an actual consultant in India involves a combination of education, professional exams, work experience and skill development. So a lot of people do their BCom and they do graduate and study accountancy in school and in college, but they're not considered accountants till they pass the accountancy exams. Similarly, in the case of actuarial science, few institutions in India offer actuarial science as a degree or a master's or a bachelor's degree in actuarial science, but they will not be considered as actuaries till they pass the exams required by the Indian Actuarial Institute, which is IAI. Every country in the world, or at least the most uh, progressive countries in the world, have their own actuarial institutes. The two which are the most important ones are the Society of Actuaries in the US, 
and the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries in UK. They are the two most popular ones and the ones which are widely under-renowned globally. The students who clear the first three or four exams because there is a series of exams, if you clear the first three, four exams, companies know that you have the capability and they come looking chasing you because there's always a requirement for students who have completed three, four exams and are on the path to becoming successful in their actuarial career. We move on to the next one that is specializing in consulting. So why do we do that? After becoming a qualified actuary, you can choose to specialize in actuarial consulting. This may involve working with a consulting firm or starting your own practice and then gain experience in different areas such as life insurance, health insurance, pension, or investments to build a diverse skill set that will be valuable in consulting. And how different is to become an actuary after graduation and after finishing your post-graduation? There has to be a difference, right? Getting an MBA gives you business perspective. One thing is to learn actuarial science to figure out what should be the price of a life insurance contract. But to run a business of life insurance products, you need to have a business background as well. So having an MBA as an add-on really helps you figure out how to make a life insurance business or a healthcare business instead of just knowing how to price the risk or how to advise clients on a risk. So it's a good degree to have, not a necessary degree to have. How much can you actually make as an actuary in India? Let's start with entry-level actuarial consultants. Salary ranges between 6 to 12 lakhs per annum. These are typically individuals who have cleared a few actuarial exams and have 1 to 3 years of experience. Then we move on to mid-level actuarial consultant. The salary range between 12 to 25 lakhs per annum. Why they get paid more? Because with around 4 to 8 years of experience of having cleared a significant number of actuarial exams, these professionals often take on more responsibilities, which includes client management and independent project work. So you get paid more because you're able to contribute more. The next is senior level actual consultant. Here now we are talking about serious numbers. The salary range starts from 25 lakh and it can go up to 50 lakhs per annum. Senior consultants typically have over 8 to 10 years experience and may have achieved fellowship status. They are involved in high level consulting, business development and may lead teams or departments. Top tier consultant, partners and directors. Their salary can range from anywhere between 50 lakhs to 1 crore plus per annum. Let's see what Tushar has to talk about. Having an actual qualification, if you have one, you cannot be without a job. You have to have a job. Actual consultants were earlier actuaries in companies. Hmm. And they moved out from the companies and started doing consulting as part of the big four. So the structure, they carry the same structure. Yes, you get paid a little bit more. You get maybe 20% more than what you would normally get. So for example, if you get about four and a half, five lakhs working in a company with the BCom and three or four exams cleared, you might get about nine to eight to nine lakhs when you're working for a big four company. So a slight change does happen. Actually, perhaps don't have the best communication skills. We are good at number crunching, but we are not being, we're not good at communicating it in layman to the end person. So that is one of the biggest challenges we face. So that is why they pay a premium for those actuaries who have qualified and can communicate and articulate and be facing the client. And that's the 20-30% gap which I was talking about. So now let's talk about which are these companies that hire actuarial consultants in India. Several companies in India actively hire actuarial consultants, particularly in the insurance, finance and consulting sectors. Here are some of the prominent employers. Number one is insurance companies, Life Insurance Corporation of India, LIC, HDFC Life Insurance, ICICI Prudent Life Insurance, SBI Life Insurance, Max Life Insurance, General Insurance, New India Insurance, ICICI Lombard General Insurance, Bajaj Alliance General Insurance, Reliance General Insurance. Now we come to health insurance. We have Star Health and Allied Insurance, Apollo Munich Health Insurance. Moving down, Max Bupa Health Insurance. Second type of companies are consulting firms. So we have global consulting firms such as Deloitte, PwC, EY, KPMG, Milliman. Now let's talk about actuarial specific consulting firms. The firms are Willis Towers Watson, Mercer, Aeon Hewitt, Swiss Reinsurance Company. Now let's talk about some reinsurance companies. Global Reinsurance with Indian Operations. We have Munich Reinsurance, Swiss Reinsurance, Hanover Reinsurance, SCORE. Then we also have financial services companies. We have banks and investment firms like SBI, HDFC, ICICI and Kotak which often employ actuaries in the risk management, wealth management divisions. Literally about two weeks ago, the government of India has allowed 100% FDI in insurance in India. 
and that is why suddenly there is a new market opening up for actuaries because now any global company can operate out of india they are going to be looking for large swaths of actuaries to come and work in life insurance pension insurance accounting ifrs accounting rules for actuaries are quite different than what you will see for normal accounting systems valuation for example the uh, lic went uh, public a couple of years ago a lot of actuaries were involved in doing the valuation of lic what should be the books of lic look like how much of liability do they have how much of assets do they have so this is a completely new change we are seeing going to see in india and this is going to be ushered in with new com- companies taking control setting up branches and shops so this is just the right time for somebody who's pursuing bcom and looking to make a career which is alongside an mba you can do an mba you do this as well this is just the perfect time in conclusion while both graduate and post graduate can build successful career in actuarial science those with a post graduate degree may have access to more complex higher responsibility roles and experience faster career growth especially in the early stages of their careers however in the long run professional success and salary growth are strongly strongly influenced by the experience the number of actual exams passed and the ability to apply actuarial knowledge effectively in real world scenarios so uh, that's about it guys uh, do let us know which other field would you like us to break down for you meanwhile this is sir from team inside i am signing off